people. It's personal between me, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, good morning to you guys. Going, running some errands here, South Florida. You know, got the pink True School Sports shirt on. You know, one of my favorite shirts. I like this shirt a lot, even though I'm not only a big fan of pink, but it looks good with the logo. Listen, I wanted to talk about Zach Parker, okay? Because and this video, this video isn't about Willie Andrade. It's actually more about what I see from Zach Parker and, and, and going back and watching Zach Parker and seeing what he brings to the table, you know? Because we can't just be biased. We have to actually go ahead and watch these fighters, look at these fighters. We can't always take people at their words. We can't always take people at their narratives. We need to, you know, and, and this goes for you guys out there. Don't just take what I say as a gospel or any other YouTube channel as a gospel. Watch these fighters for yourself. Come to your own conclusions. Come to your own observations and bring your own perspective, perspective to the table because that's what's really needed in boxing from fans and it's what's needed in media as well. So with that being said, I had a chance to, t to watch. Uh, I, I spent like an hour and a half watching Zach Parker the other night. Uh, as, as I was going through this marathon watching fighters because, you know, a, a lot's been made recently of Demetrius Andrade and, and, and Johnny Beck and all that stuff. And I feel like the, the guy that people are not paying attention to or looking at in this equation is Zach Parker, you know, the number one contender in the WBO at 168. And um, I, I had a chance to go rewatch a couple of fights of his. So I, I, went, ahead, I went ahead and I rewatched re his fights with Rohan Murdoch, uh, Marcus Morrison, and uh, Vaughn Alexander. These are the three fights that I went back and watched just to see what Zach Parker brings to the table. And what, 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 what challenges could he bring, Andre? And how is he going to push forward in his career? So in watching Zach Parker, I'll, I'll, here are my takeaways from Zach Parker, okay? So he's, for, the, for, for, for 168, he's, uh, he's tall, he's rangy, he punches really, really well. One thing I like about Zach Parker is that uh, when he boxes, and he moves um, and he commits to his offense he's not one of these British fighters that's going in, going in there to tip tap with you or pity patter you know a lot of times if you guys watch my lives especially when I'm live for these British undercards a lot of times I have problems with these British fighters that go in there and they have these British amateur habits and Zach Parker doesn't really have those British amateur habits. You know, when he goes in there and he commits to his offense and he closes that gap, he's going in there to hit you and he's going in there to hurt you. Like, when he fought Vaughn Alexander, now, mind you, Vaughn Alexander has been in, there, been in the ring with a lot of people. You know, one guy, he's been in the, one, one guy that Vaughn Alexander has been in the ring with uh, is uh, Johnny Beck Alam Kali himself. You know, Johnny Beck fought him in his, uh, I, I believe it was his fourth or his fifth fight, Johnny Beck struggled and and, 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 and got a got a split, a, split, a split decision victory over Von Alexander. Von Alexander has fought all kinds of people. Just beat Luis Arias recently. Um, never been stopped in his six uh, six losses except for when he fought Zach Parker. And then when you go back and you watch that fight, you watch what Zach Parker was doing. You watch what Zach Parker was bringing to the table. Zach Parker was was doing a lot of really good things. You know, he was throwing. He was changing stances in the middle of his combinations, which I know some people don't like. I know that that's frowned upon uh, by a lot of trainers to be switching stances so often. But for some fighters, some fighters make switching stances work for them. Like Sinisa Estrada's done that in women's boxing, um, you know, and Zach Parker's making it work for him. So, you know, in boxing, there is no right answer. It's whatever works for you. It, 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 it may not work for the next man. How you fight in your style may not work for the next man, but it could work for you. And I feel like Zach Parker, and from what I've seen from Zach Parker, he's made his style work for him. So he showed a lot of class in that Vaughn Alexander fight. And then you go and you look at what uh, Zach was able to do against, you know, Marcus Morrison, another guy at British level. Um, Morrison, you know, he's a basic English fighter, pretty much. And when he fought Marcus Morrison, this is a guy that... Chris Eubank Jr., when he fought him, he couldn't stop him. He, he couldn't get him out of there. And you watch Zach Parker, the way he picks his shots, goes to the body, switches stances, commits to his offense. He's bringing a lot of good things to the table. And I really, I, I really truthfully believe, and this, 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 is not, this is not only for Demetrius Andrew. This applies to a lot of fighters at 168. I think people in boxing, boxing fans, 
they don't do their homework when it comes to these fighters and they get wrapped up in their emotions and the narratives that get spread on YouTube and, the, and one thing boxing fans forget to do is actually watch these fighters fight and come to their own conclusions and I'll tell you this the conclusion I came to for Zach Parker is this um, he's a lot better than people give him credit for I think he's, he, he's got a, a, a chance I think he's got a chance to become a world champion um, because of his height the way he uses it, the way he applies his height, the way he commits to his offense, the way his his ability to switch stances. I, th I think Zach Parker is bringing a lot of good things to the table. And if you think that Demetrius Andrade is going to walk through with Zach Parker and it's going to be an easy fight for him, you're gravely mistaken. You know, and now it may, may may it, you know, if he makes it look easy, that'd be a statement on his end because Zach Parker's never lost. And Zach Parker, if you're paying attention, if you're really paying attention to boxing, Zach Parker's been out here making statements making statements you know when he's you know you could say these this fighter sucks and he can't do this and he can't do that but then when big, other big names fight these fighters they're getting credit for beating them like marcus morrison didn't get stopped by chris eubank you know um johnny beck didn't stop or even convincingly beat vaughn alexander but you know who did zach parker and that's a feather in zach parker's cap and i just think like with 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 with, with the power the versatility he has going to the table bringing to the table being that he's young he's strong you know, Zach Parker is going to be a problem for some people in 168, and I just want people to look out for him because, uh, you know, I was I was I was I was pleasantly surprised going back and rewatching him, and because I remember when I watched him fight once on a live, I, I can't remember I can't remember what undercard he fought on. I wasn't that impressed with Zach Parker to be honest, and I'm like, ah, oh, this guy's in. But then I went back and I watched some of his uh, better performances. I'm like, okay, you know, they might they might have something here with Zach Parker. So the more I watch him fight, the more I like him, and the more I think, you know what? This might just be a, a tough fight for Demetrius Andre. And you can't say he's cherry picking Zach Parker because Zach Parker's number one contender. And on top of that, Zach Parker and Johnny Beck Alam Coley had the same opponent. And Zach Parker did much, much better with Vaughn Alexander than Johnny Beck did. So is Johnny Beck really much better than Zach Parker? I I, I, I like Johnny Beck and I like Zach Parker, but I'm not so sure he is much better than Zach Parker. Only time will tell. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, that's the news. You guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god